Good morning guys. I know it's been a while since I have uploaded a YouTube video and uh, super excited about today. We're going to take this PA18 Super Cub on uh, 31 inch tires with a 160 horsepower engine. Uh, we're going to take it up to Arkansas and do some backcountry flying with a couple buddies. Um, we'll have a helicopter there and obviously this airplane and another Cub, maybe a Cessna 150. Um, but this, this airplane is an airplane that I get to fly quite a bit and um, it's a lot of fun so I figured I'd just make a video, take you guys along today. Um, we're not really, we don't have a mission other than uh, to see the beautiful scenery of northern Arkansas and to fly some backcountry airstrips. down over the trees I was doing probably 60 because I, I only had 30 hours in the plane right. I was doing about 60 Crazy came in and I used every bit of that runway and I'm like <laughs> I'll never do it and I started playing around a little bit and then it became half the runway a quarter of the runway all right so we're here at birds uh, we'll take off from here we're gonna head northeast and we'll go to Richland Creek uh, from Richland Creek we will swing over to Ponca uh, then northwest up to Trigger Gap, and then I think we're going to head back to Birds for uh, lunch. Then after Birds, we'll go down to John Harris Field, uh, which is on top of a mountain there. And then we'll pick up two sandbars uh, near Petty Jean. Uh, we call this one Bertha, and then this one's called Skip Rock. Uh, and then we'll pretty well wrap up the day there. Sweet. So we just made a fuel stop at Huntsville, Arkansas, and uh, topped the Cubs off. Just came from Birds, and then where are we going next? Uh, we're going to Trigger Gap. 
uh, which is the like 2,500, 3,000 foot one on top of a, a ridge. Okay. Uh, it's part of the Fly Oz Network. They have um, really cool camping area there. They've got a gazebo. Uh, they've got camping supplies, propane. They've got a grill set up. They've got an outhouse. So it's a really cool place to go up and camp. Sweet. Uh, and then from there, we'll head over to uh, Ponca and then to uh, Richland Creek. Welcome to Trigger Gap. Beautiful uh, little runway up here on the top of a ridge. Pretty much 360 degree view of the valley below here in northern Arkansas. Here's the sign. I guess we're official now, right? Trigger Gap. So runway 1028, 3,000 feet long at 1,610 feet MSL above sea level and the frequency. Come over here, check this out. So Kelly was just saying that we've got basically all the amenities here for free for public use. We've got a nice fireplace. We've got um, you're saying there's a charging station over there. Yeah, so you've been here before. But. Yeah, so they've got a grill uh, over across the uh, runway. There's another camp area with some firewood set up. They've got extra water, propane, uh, stuff for the grill. Have you um, camped here overnight? I no. Not here. I've camped at some of the other ones. I camped at Richmond Creek where we're going to head. Camp there. It's a similar setup. Uh, they've got amenities set up for so almost all the runways in the Fly Isles Network, the main ones, will have something set up where yeah. if you forget a tie down, if you forget water, if you forget something, you've got some means of getting it without having to run into town. So we're headed to Ponca next. It's a 1,300 uh, foot strip at about 2,300 feet elevation. Uh, it's kind of one way in and one way out. When we land, there's a gradual upslope, and then I think it kicks up to like a three degree or a seven degree upslope, and then it's got a, a camp this way as well. Both of our planes are going to be able to land short of the little upslope, so there's no issue, but most people will swing around regardless of the wind and then fly the upslope in. Uh, there'll be, there's a hangar on top of it, and they've got a Jeep and some kayaks, and the whole kind of purpose of that is you're able to fly in, rent the house hangar. Uh, really? hang out, you can take the jeep with the kayaks, go down to the Buffalo River, float the buffalo, what? come back, uh, park, and then like use the whole weekend with uh, with the whole Ponca International. So obviously we're not going to be doing all that, but we'll at least fly in and hang out at Ponca yeah. for a little bit. Get the tour. Yep. Okay, Ponca. Let's go. Cool. All right, third stop of the day. I don't know, four. One, two, three, four. Fourth stop of the day, Richland Creek. And it doesn't have all the information on it, but it's a plenty long runway. Um, beautiful, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful creek down there, hence the name Richland Creek. I don't know if it's actually Richland Creek or not. It's, he's telling me it is off camera. But anyway, super stoked to be here. Beautiful, beautiful place. Arkansas is, is beautiful. And uh, now we're going to hop in the airplane, and I look like I'm about dead because I'm, I am, I'm very hungry. We're going to go get something to eat. Let's go. Food is great at birds. Sweet potato fries, grilled cheese sandwich. So I will
up here in Arkansas flying around uh, some of these backcountry trips I'd never seen before, so um, kind of a new thing that I checked off my bucket list. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, like I said, we're going to the Philippines. We'll be flying a helicopter there doing medevac work. Super stoked about that. And we'll have content of all of that coming soon on the channel. And just wanting to kick it off with kind of some of the stuff we do here um, in Texas. So we'll have a few more videos before we go to the Philippines. But again, thanks so much for tuning in, being my wingman today. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.